so loud. Hi everybody, do you remember my name? My name is T-O-M-M-Y Tommy. My name is Tommy because it is the symbol of making things out of paper. Do you know what this is? It's a paper helicopter. I'll put it aside and when we finish this lesson, I will make another video about how to fall ordinary helicopter. But first, let's start the lesson. If you want to fold ordinary helicopter by yourself, right? You need two pieces of paper. One piece to make the propeller grow, right? You need also needed a straw and some tape or glue. So now let's get started. I mean, first, when you get started, do you know what topic is it today? It is about hummingbirds. And look, then 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 then. Fighting helicopter, fighting helicopter. I draw and I fold. I looked at my drawing and then I folded until it looks like my drawing. I didn't add the staplers yet, but when I'm lucky, I may, I might know how to put on the staplers. So now, let's get started. Hummingbirds are amazing for many reasons. They can fly backwards. Pew, 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 pew. They are the only birds that can fly backwards. They zoom up into the sky or they zoom down oof, to the ground. When their babies are in danger, they even fight eagles. When they are awake, when the hummingbirds were awake, they spend most of their time eating food. They find something that collects juice. They they even collect juice in our in our juice jugs. But when we live in an apartment, it cannot follow us into our room because do you know The place where I keep my clothes were closed. So the hummingbirds can fly through the door. So let's start with the third paragraph. Do you know that hummingbirds has a special tongue? Its tongue is split into two pieces. Its tongue is split into two pieces. These, these, the two ends of the pieces are sharp, so they can use it to collect nectar from flowers. They even use their tongues to spread it out and then catch a bug. Just like when your sword sw swallowing so do you know what it is means that you have a sword that can roll attract your um finger and then when you get that sword into your mouth you roll it up and when you open it you roll it out that's called sword swallowing Now, the last paragraph. 
their tongue, their tongue, their flying skill, <laughs> and their eating habits, and you use their tongue to catch um, insects, or they use their tongue to suck up nectar. Those are just the things that make the hummingbird an unbelievable animal. So now, we will talk about more about hummingbirds. Did you know that hummingbirds, how did hummingbirds make their nests? Did you know how? They get the fuzz from your sweaters. And then they use the fuzz to make their nest. Did you know that they visited one more than 1,000 flowers a day to get nectar? Did you know that? Because they quickly eat up food. So have, they have to find lots of food. And did you know why they collect such fast and then they eat in just one day? They are small, right? So they can fly over predators that want to kill or eat it. It can fly over predators. So it can collect nectar fast and then fly zooming back to its home. Where does it store the nectar? Do you know where does it store the nectar? In its cheeks. In its cheeks. They store so the nectar in their cheeks, fly back home, put the nectar in their home, fly back, put more into their cheeks, and then go back home and put more. Just do the same thing every time. In just one minute, they did one time. They just needed to do it 100 times. Then they had enough. 100 times is just um, it's just um, just a, just a more than one hour, right? 100 times is just more than one hour. It's just like uh, two hours, and it's just like two hours and forty minutes. It will finish collecting the nectar for its long day to eat. Now, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe me more. And don't leave yet. But did you enjoy my video? Did you like it? Did you understand it? If you don't understand it, maybe I will learn Japanese. Maybe I will learn Japanese and then speak it to you in the next lesson or next year lesson because I do not know how to speak a lot of Japanese because I live in America. So now, see you.